नमस्कार गोमंतक टीवी चेर तुमका सगळ्यांक माय मोगाचो योगकार हा सांजवी सविस्तर खबरा पहिली पळोया आयच्यो मुखेल खबरो गुन्हेगारी उमेदवार वाढले कोट्याधीश उमेदवार तीस कोटी तीस टक्के विचारपूर्वक मतदान करपास एडीआरान मारलो उलो गोयचे अस्मिताय दाय संस्कृताय आणि गोयचे खाशेलेपण राखपा खातीर काँग्रेसीन मत दिवचे प्रियांका गांधीचे गोयकारांक आवाहन मडगाव आणि फातोड्डेची उदरगत राखून उरपा थळावे आमदार जापसालदार मुख्यमंत्री प्रमोद सावंताचो आरोप कोरोना महामारीच्या भिरांकुळ काळात मुख्यमंत्री मेजतलो कोयशाची ट्रिपी विजय सरदेसायन केले दोतोर प्रमोद सावंताचे रेटॅक कोरोना दुयेंतीन मरण येवपो प्रकार सेगीत सुरू सोमारा दुयेंती आयले मरण आता खबरो विस्तारा दोन हजार बावीस वेचणुकेत पदवीधरांचे प्रमाण देऊन गुन्यांवकारींचे फाटभूय आशिल्ले उमेदवारांची वाढ झाल्या गुन्यांवकारी फाटभूय आशिल्ले उमेदवार अठरा टक्के आसात जाल्यार तीस टक्के कोट्यातीत उमेदवार आसात असो तपशील असोसिएशन फॉर डेमोक्रेटीक रिफॉर्म्सान मांडला ह्यो सगळ्यो गजाली पळोवन लोकांनी विचारपूर्वक आपले उमेदवार वेचो अशी मागणी केल्या Last time around, in 2017, Goa had 8% candidates who had had serious crimes on their head. This time around, we have 18%. So if you want to compare 2007, 2012, 2017, and 2022 now, 2007, we had 2% people as candidates who had serious crimes. From 2%, it went to 4%, double. in 2012 from 4% it went to 8% again double in 2017 and now we have more than double from 8% to straight away 18% perhaps we have to look at it seriously the, the voters called red alert constituencies out of 40 goa has 12 which is one of the highest number in the whole country now what is this uh, red alert constituencies let me uh, clarify any constituency which has more than 3 people having criminal record three candidates with criminal record is defined as red alert constituency which means the election commission representatives the cops and everyone has to be on special alert because of perhaps i'm using the word perhaps the the uh, things going a little wrong or you know some gundaism some this thing on the polling booth etc etc if there are three so any play any constituency which has more than three uh, this thing now there are 12 out of 40 which is 30 percent red alert constituencies nowhere in india including up or yeah. bihar on such a place uh, having as many as uh, 30 percent so and this is happened for the first time last time in 2017 goa had only three constituencies out of 40 so this time we have four times as many from three we have jumped to 12 so as much as we have 18% people with serious crime we also have red alert constituencies which have gone up by 400% most of the time when the affidavits are filed it is the job of the returning officer to check it perfectly so that uh, he finds no follies in that now what has happened is there are certain uh, guidelines which are given by the election commission as the uh, rate of the property given should be as per the market value and not as per what you have purchased or what was in the ester years so this has uh, whether this has been really followed or whether this has not been followed we will see in the next slides 
गोयचे अस्मिताय दाय संस्कृताय आनी गोय राज्याचे खाशेलपण राखपा खातीर गोयकारानी काँग्रेसिक मतदान करचे असे विधान काँग्रेस पक्षाचे राष्ट्रीय फुडारी प्रियांका गांधी वाड्रा हाणे केला विधानसभा वेचणुकाचे फाटभुयेर नुवे मतदारसंघान आयोजित केल्या प्रचाराच्या जाहीर सभेती उलयताली गोयाक सांभाळून गोयकारांक परत दिवपा खातीर काँग्रेस पार्टी वावुरतली असे प्रियांकान म्हणा In the Congress party we understand how important your heritage is to you both natural and your cultures and your traditions and it is from that understanding that many many years ago my grandmother conducted possibly the only referendum that was ever conducted in India in Goa to find out from the people of Goa whether they wanted to be part of the Maharashtra state or they wanted a state to themselves and with that same respect and with that same clear respect for your dignity for your culture for your traditions the congress party today wants to hand goa back to goans it wants to create policies that are for your benefit not for the benefit of outsiders whether it is the policies on buying of land whether it is the tourism policy whether it is the environment whether it is the fact that industrialists are being allowed to carry a coal from one side of goa to the other and special provisions are being made for them while the people of goa are being ignored all of this we promise that we are going to focus on fully and we are going to give you a stable government that works for goa गोयकार भाजपा विटला असे आपण गोयकारांकडे चर्चा केल्या उपरांत कळटा भाजपा खातीर गोय भांगराचे तांती दिवपी कमी झाला ते गोयांक लुटतात असे प्रियांका म्हणतात इफ यू लिसन टू द स्पीचेस ऑफ बीजेपी लीडर्स दे टेंड टू से दैट दे वांट टू बिल्ड अ गोल्डन गोवा एंड एवरी टाइम आई हियर दैट आई थिंक ऑफ दैट स्टोरी यू नो ऑफ द गूस दैट लेड द गोल्डन एग्स ऑफ द फार्मर एंड हिज वाइफ हु हैड फाउंड द गूस व्हिच वाज लेइंग गोल्डन एग्स एंड दे वर एनरिचिंग देमसेल्व्स बाय सेलिंग दीस गोल्डन एग्स and then one day they sat down they became so greedy that they had a discussion with each other and said look this this goose must be having so many golden eggs inside why don't we just cut her up and take them out and to me that is what is being done to your state they are seeing resources there is greed there is they are seeing huge amount of resources and they're wanting to take those resources to enrich themselves rather than actually enriching the state understanding your culture there is a disrespect for your individuality for your culture for your identity and when you have a government that actually internally cannot accept your differences cannot accept your culture the way it is does not want it to flourish wants a uniform culture then you are the result is that your state suffers that you suffer everywhere in goa wherever i have been i was here earlier for campaigning i spoke to people from all different sections of society i spoke to women i spoke to young people i spoke to fishermen everybody was under stress and pressure goincha samik swatang lutun bhajpa cha sarkar aplo suwarth satta aso aro priyankan kela bhajpa cha sarkar cha kaalan tarnate berozgar ullyat ase priyankan mhatla election for goa is really really significant and it's significant not just from the point of view of us political parties but particularly from the point of view of goa what we have here is a state rich in resources rich in natural beauty rich in skill with a good youthful population and yet the second highest in unemployment in india and yet the focus of the government instead of being on development instead of being on how to move forward how to protect the natural beauty of goa how to protect your resources or at least to utilize them for your own good there is no such focus the focus is only on staying in power and with by whatever means one can stay in power you saw the biggest example of that was what happened after the result of the last election it was very clearly it was evident that 
power was being usurped and it was being democracy was being upturned you then got a government that focused on creating wealth for its own industrialist friends you have a, an ex huge example of that here in goa itself you have the double laning of the highway you have these three projects the highway expansion the double tracking and the electricity lines that are going through your natural habitat carrying coal from one end to the other only for the benefit of one single industrialist not an industrialist not a single youth from goa is getting a single job out of this exercise what are you getting you're getting pollution you're getting your environment is being destroyed so this is symbolic of actually what is happening to goa मडगावची आणि फातोड्डाची उदरगत थळाव्या आमदारांनी आडून दौरिल्ली असो आरोप मुख्यमंत्री दोतोर प्रमोद सावंत हांनी केला अच्छे दिन किते म्हण विचारपी दिगंबर कामतीन काँग्रेसीच्या सरकार असताना आणि उपरांत भाजपाचे सरकार असताना किते बदल झाला ते पळोवचे जर कब्रस्तान झोन बदलपास कोण जबाबदार असा ताची जाप विजय सरदेसायन मतदारांक दिवची असे डॉक्टर प्रमोद सावंत हांनी म्हटला करप्ट गवर्नमेंट नाशिले दिगंबर कामतीक आमकां करप्ट म्हणपो अधिकार उरना तो अच्छे दिन किती काय म्हणून विचारतो त्या सांगपचे दोन हजार बारा पहिली गोयचे सगळे दीस पळय म्हणजे तुका अच्छे दिन हा केला इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेव्हलपमेंट ह्युमन डेव्हलपमेंट हो तू पळल्या उपरांत तुका अच्छे दिन किती ते कळटले त्या खातीर जो कोण हंगासर राहुल गांधी येऊन थंय किती तरी उडून गेलो ती तुला वचना बट हंगासर आशिलो बाब विजय सरदेसाय आव्हान करता की ताने कब्रस्तानच्या जागेचो झोन चेंज कोणी केलो मायनॉरिटीच्या नावाचे जो मतं मिळता तो फातोड्यातल्या दोन फावटी निवडून येलो आज मायनॉरिटी कम्युनिटी बाब मुस्लिम भाव आमचे आणि जाऊ कॅथलिक भाव हांच्या खातीर जी सिमेत्री आशिली क्रिमिटोरियम आशिल्लो कब्रस्तान आशिल्लो त्याचो झोन चेंज कोणी केलो हो मला त्यांनी सांगतो माझा प्रश्न आहे त्याला आणि त्यांनी लोकांक कळोचे ह्या इलेक्शनाच्या पहिली कळोचे आणि खऱ्या अर्थात बरी पैकी त्यांना जी कब्रस्तान दिवस जाय असले दिगंबर कामतीन आज पर्यंत किद्याक दिवं ना बाब दिगंबर कामत आणि वि विजय सदेसाय हा सोनसड्या खातीर कोण जबाबदार सोनसड्याचे राजकारण कोणी केलं कब्रस्तानाचे राजकारण कोणी केलं गार्बेजीचे राजकारण कोणी केलं मडगावातलो विकास फाटल्यान कोणी दवरलो मडगावातलो बस स्टँड अजून किद्याक जाऊ ना आम्ही वेगवेगळे प्रकल्प वेगवेगळे फावटी वेगवेगळी प्रपोजल्स दिल्ली हा तीन वर्ष सरकार जरी मी दोन वर्ष कोविड गेली तरी सुद्धा मजो पूर्णता म्हणजे संपूर्ण गोया खात पेडण्या पासून काणपण पर्यंत संपूर्ण विकास करपा खात हा सातत्यात वावुरतो बट ज्या पद्धतीचे राजकारण यांना करपचे आशिले मायनॉरिटी भावांकडे राजकारण करपचे आशिले आम्हीच तुमचे विषय सोडयता हे त्यांना कळत चुकले कारण काही विषय मला स्वतःहून सोडवचे आशिले त्या खात हा सगळ्या लोकांना आव्हान करता मडगाव सहित जे हा मुद्दा म्हणून म्हटला की बाबू परत एकदा उपमुख्यमंत्री जाता आणि दामू मंत्री जाता हा ठाम निशी सांगू शकता सालसेतकारांक ही खरोखरच पहिले फावटी अशा पद्धतीत सालसेतीतला विकास करून घेऊपचो ही मोठी संद असा आणि त्या खातीर हा माझ्या सगळ्या सालसेतीतल्या भावांकडे मागता भाव बहिणींकडे मागता आता वेळ झाला एक लहान विसव घेऊपचा विसवा उपरांत परत रुखडीच आम्ही मिळूया तो म्हणजे पळत रावत गुमंतक टीव्ही काँग्रेस फुडारी मिलिंद देवराव हो लाईफ असा तर पळयात तो किती म्हणतात वेर अ पार्टी दॅट विल मेक पॉवर ऑन इट्स ओन बट इट्स व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट वी ब्रिंग बॅक द लॉस शाईन अँड ग्लॉरी ऑफ गोवा अँड दिस इज अ स्टेट दॅट ट्रस्ट द काँग्रेस इज हिस्ट्री दिस इज अ स्टेट दॅट रिमेंबर्स वेन जवाहरलाल नेहरू वॉज प्राईम मिनिस्टर अँड ड्युरिंग द असेन्शन ऑफ गोवा टू द स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया ही हॅड प्रॉमिस अ रेफरेंडम विल बी हेल्ड whether goans want to be with maharashtra or retain their own cultural identity and yesterday the prime minister said what has the nehru gandhi family done that same commitment of jawaharlal nehru referendum was held by his daughter indraji that same commitment 
was then manifested into statehood when Rajiji was Prime Minister in 87. And then five years later, when Congress was in power again and Narsimha Raoji was Prime Minister, Kokani was made the official state language of Goa. So that is the history, that is the deep relationship that the Congress party enjoys with Goans. I am convinced that in a mood of anti-incumbency, of 10 years of anti-incumbency against the BJP government, the people of Goa will vote decisively, give the Congress a clear and strong mandate so that we can govern stably and deliver on our promises for the people of Goa. Thank you. So, Jodha, sir, what will you, what will you say about unemployment graph is increasing, which is not going on as far well? What will you say? No, I will say that unemployment is a very serious issue nationally. That is because of mismanagement of the government of India. Many countries have gone through a lot of economic distress because of coronavirus. But every country has invested in their youth. Today, the government of India has done nothing. And if you saw the speech of the Prime Minister in Parliament yesterday, unfortunately, the Prime Minister of India is still believing that the Prime Minister of India is Jawaharlal Nehru. And I think it's important to remind the Prime Minister of India that the Prime Minister of India in 2022 is Narendra Modi. And employment in Goa is a very serious issue. But how do you create employment in Goa? I give you an example of a big port like Momogao Port Trust. If you want to boost Momogao Port and create employment, you have to invest in resources to trade. You cannot say that in the port, I will build one more terminal. You cannot say I'll build something else. What will you trade? And therefore, starting mining again in Goa is very, very important in a sustainable way. Why in a sustainable way? Because five years later, again, somebody should not go to court. Again, the whole cycle will start. Again, mining will get banned. And our commitment is not to create employment by importing coal, which is polluting, but by exporting environmentally sustainable iron ore. And we all know, in fact, just recently, I think BJP released their manifesto just a few hours ago. And in the manifesto also, they've said, we will start mining after six months. If I'm not mistaken, Sunilji, for the last 10 years, they've been talking about starting mining. 2012 election, that time, 2014 Lok Sabha election, they said, we'll start mining. 2017 Vidhan Sabha election, I remember I was here, they said we'll start mining. Sir, in, uh, BGP in their manifesto says that the excise on the petrol will be slashed off. What will you say and what, what is your party's agenda about the fuel? We have always said that states and BJP must slash petrol prices. So we feel that today there is inflation. But the problem is people don't believe what they are saying. Because if you take mining for instance, for how many elections and every year they are saying that. And they are always extending the deadline. We will start mining, we will start mining. But there is no plan to start mining. So Congress is committed to starting mining. Congress believes that we have a stake in Goa's future. If I talk of the Port Trust, if I talk of other infrastructure projects, we feel very strongly that this is Congress's legacy in the state of Goa in India. And therefore, to protect that legacy, to nurture that legacy, to strengthen that legacy, we must invest and invest in the future of our human resources, of our youth, and of this infrastructure. So do you think that the key, he speaks about the thing that the key energy, it is a sustainable energy for this, it is, it is comfort for the common people to buy these vehicles? For electric vehicles? Yeah. Sir, what he said is that we have promised 8 rupees petrol. So he laughed at us on that promise. And he's saying we have any vehicles. Go into pollution. So it is possible for common man to See, I believe electric vehicles are the future. This is a future technology. Nobody is going to deny that. But till the time that a common man can afford to buy an electric vehicle or an electric bike, at least slash the cost of petrol and diesel. So there's no point if a senior union minister comes to Goa on the eve of election when people are suffering and they are hurting and they are financially in pain and is laughing about the idea about slashing the cost of fuels, I think that's very unfortunate. That's throwing mud in the face of people who are needy, 
who are expecting some relief from the government of India. And I think right now it's very important that the government of India should be looking at providing relief to the poor people. Future is separate. Today people need to live. Future is a long way off. Let's try and fix the problem for today. Petrol ka dekhe, petrol ko kam karne ke liye do issues hai. Ek Raja Sarkar apne excise duty kam kar sakte hai, lekin Kendra Sarkar ko bhi karna padega. Sab se pehle Kendra Sarkar ko, jab petrol aur khas karke kaccha tel ka daam me itni giravat aai thi, ab kaccha tel ka daam bada raha hai. When the time was right, government of India didn't reduce it. So now the government of India is, in fact today I read an article that the government of India has hinted through somebody that chunao khatam hone ke baad, we dobara petrol aur diesel ka daam badaayenge. So this is not the way to do politics. Aapko har keval vote ke liye, janta ko galat tarah se aap prabhavit karna chaate hain, ye desh ke liye, desh ke vikas ke liye, zaruat man logo ko rahat pauchane ke liye, ye bhoat anyya hai. और हम चाहेंगे कि सबसे जल्दी यदि गडकरी जी या किसी भी केंद्रीय मंत्री ने कहा कि इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स इस देश की फ्यूचर है जब तक इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स का दाम गिरे द कॉमन पर्सन कैन अफोर्ड इट केंद्र सरकार को जल्द से जल्द पेट्रोल और डीजल का दाम कम करना चाहिए गोवा में आप कैसे दाम एटी रुपीज पर लीटर कैसे कर, कर सकें अगर आपकी सरकार दैट इज समथिंग विच द गोवन द लोकल गोवा कांग्रेस विल बी एबल टू आंसर बेटर But as I said, our policy is very clear for India and for the state of Goa that the price of essential resources which are causing inflation must come down. Budget ke bhashan mein Kendriya Vit Mantri Nirmala Sita Raman ji ne kaha ki hum fiscal deficit ko badhana chaate hain. Iska saaf matlab kya hai? Ki Kendra Sarkar infrastructure mein nivesh karna chaate hain. Thik hai, hum iska swagat karte hain. लेकिन यदि आप फिजिकल डिफिजिट को बढ़ाना चाहते हैं तो आप कत, आप पेट्रोल और डीजल का दाम भी घटा सकते हैं तो इसलिए मेरा आपके माध्यम से फाइनेंस मिनिस्ट्री से गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया से प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी से अपील रहेगा कि गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया मस्ट प्रोवाइड इमीडिएट रिलीफ टू पीपल हु आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम द ब्रांड ऑफ इन्फ्लेशन रिगार्डिंग दिस पेट्रोल प्राइसिस दिस गवर्नमेंट has access to multiple streams of revenue mining they have shut down so that would have pushed in a lot of petrol the petrol money plus the central funds are going back crores and crores of central funds are going back because this government does not want to be investigated for corruption under the cdc so we will explore ways on how to bring down the price of money by streamlining this and the best way is to reduce the expenditure on advertisements, like how this this government does. So I'm sure it'll it'll stabilize once these things. Petrol prices will stabilize once all this vanity expenditure and promotional expenditure where CM's face is plastered on every hoarding with by with written by uh, information and uh, uh, broadcasting uh, department. Look, we will mining shuru karenge automatically. Goa government ke jo financial situation hai, that will improve and that will give the state government lot of room to provide relief to people who need it. Any questions? Sir, one of them. Has India digitally concentrated in banking? So, what is the boost for the workers of banking? That you should judge. You were the kind of response that she got, the adulation that she got, speaks for itself. आजच्या खबर हंगा सोपतात हा सांजो बी तुमचा निरोप घेता आणि खबरांखातीर पळत रहा गोमंतक टीव्ही